Celine, the next time we meet, we will focus on one central goal, and that is to reshape how you move your right hand and arm in the backswing. I have paused the swing at the end of the backswing, and you can see a major difference between your position of your right arm and Grant Waits. I have drawn a blue circle around the right hand and a red circle around the elbow, and a black line along the forearm that connects the two circles. You can see that Grant's forearm is almost vertical, as if he were holding a tray like a waiter. The elbow is pointing down to his hip. Your forearm is almost horizontal and pointing sideways. I am confident I can get you to feel the correct way, and when you do, you will see a remarkable difference in how you hit the ball. You will hit it more effortlessly and consistently. We will first spend some good portion of the beginning during non-ball movement drills with just the right arm and hand. We will then do some right hand only drills where you will be hitting balls but only with the right hand. You can prepare for the next session by doing some at home movement drills without a club. You can stand up straight and just practice folding your right arm to a 90 degree position so the forearm is pointing down to the ground as you see the black line doing in the picture. Imagine holding a hammer driving a nail in front of you at eye level. Notice that your elbow stays still while you hit the pretend nail by simply folding and unfolding the forearm at the elbow. Next, while still standing straight, face a mirror and extend your right arm out to your side parallel to the ground. And again, do the hammer drill by simply folding your right arm up and down. Make sure when you raise your right hand up, the elbow stays stationary so that your right hand moves above your elbow. As you can see, Grant has positioned his.